Well, Armageddon has finally arrived on NASCAR Heat 2. This is Auto Rock and Racing 94. Back with another another set of races here on the Morgan Shepard Championship mode of my quest to get Morgan Shepard the Xfinity Series Championship. As you can see, we're entering rounds 19 to 21. As I always do, three races per episode. We're six in the standings. Without further ado, let's take a look at the standings right now. As you can see, William Byron's pretty much one locked, all but locked up the regular season championship. I'm six in points. My goal is to beat Ryan Reed at this moment. Because in real life, Ryan Reed has no business. Well, unless if it's, we're talking about real life at this moment, that he's already going to the next round. Unlike Brendan Gong, he's been eliminated. And also Blake Cook. Here is the guy in 12th in the regular season standing. That is Kevin Harvick. Here is our number one enemy in 17th. Harrison Rhodes, my goal is to knock him out of the top 20 as best as possible, but not ruin my race in progress. Here is the playoff standings if, if it were to start right now, and Harvick is the man that holds the 12th and final spot. So a lot of stuff's on the line. We gotta fix it. We gotta get Harrison Rhodes out of that graphic because he has no business to be up there. And the reason why I'm saying it's Armageddon, here's why. We're going to Iowa. Well, first and foremost, here are the, the finishing results. was a little bit better. A little bit better than the last couple. I finished AJ Kentucky, won in Loud, and then where I had turbo boost for the recent. And then Indy finishing four, it's garbage. As you can see, I'm not looking forward to Iowa. It gets worse because I get to run two road courses with Watkins Glen B, my probable one of probably having my best run. But. I'll, but every episode since episode 2, I've at least won a race. See, Charlotte, Dober, Pocono, I won there. Then Bristol, Richmond, Talladega, I won that. And then Phoenix, Atlanta, Auto Club, and Texas. It's been since the very first episode. Well, if you also mention it, because that was also separate. But as far as a, a sequence of three races, I've at least won one of them, except for the first three. So... I have no hopes. Here's my rating, 100. We're not even going to bother qualifying, especially on road courses. We're not even bother. And we're still sticking to three stages because if I were to get rid of it, that would just be a lack of continuity. So without further ado, let's get this episode over with. Let's just hope to get a top 20. And let's see how bad can we be at this moment in this season. How bad can we be? Which I'm pretty sure we're going to be bad from here on out. As for why the episode is called Armageddon is here part one, because there's a part two, which I'll show you after I'm done being tormented by every track on this circuit. Then. And most likely, there will not be a bonus episode. If there is, it has to be good. I have to feel like it. I do it for the sake of being to get some content done in under an hour, but there's no, no time to get around. The question is, can Morgan Shepard survive the glare and the horror that was Iowa? So without further ado, oh good news, it's in the sunset so it should be promising right? Let's see, we'll find out, green flag is on the way, we're here at Iowa Speedway, let's just say it should be green flags in here, we're on our way at Iowa, not green flag is on the way at in Iowa. So I have to work very smoothly here today because Iowa was awful in these parts, I drove horrible. Here's Daniel Hemrick. We advance to the next round. And also, one thing I'm trying not to do is not damage this car. If I can not damage this car, maybe that might be the formula to do well in Iowa. It's a little bit tight at the exit of turn number one. Hemrick has no business to be in the back. He should be at the front. See, that engine tone does, does not encourage you. As Ray Black Jr. is trying to, it's going to catch me in a moment. This moment, we're just trying to rack up some wins. Because this regular season championship is, that I wanted to get is over. And now they're pulling away. So I'm a little bit, des a little bit desperate right now. How awful I am. See, my one goes through the throttle and then he just... I guess the tone of the engine gets worse and worse, and I'm stuck in 31st. We'll get a lot better this time. Almost hit the wall. Matt Tiff, another playoff contender. 
The Cole Custer as well. What's Cole Custer doing in the back? Oh yeah, the regulars in this game that are actually in the fight are horrible in this game. That's proven by Matt Tip running in dead last just about every other week. This is Mike Carmen. Last time I got into him, I believe it was at this race track, I the results were bad fitness. It might have been him or Jeremy Clark, I'm not exactly sure. short. <sighs> No, I do not want to cancel. I apologize greatly about what I think being interrupted. The middle of life and then Cole Cut, I mean, not Cole Custer, just Cole Custer behind me back here. Besides the rape me and go by and like, like I'm just a freaking, like a freaking toy. I'm gonna die bomb it. And more importantly, after stage one, I get the bottom line. Boys, hopefully I get it right this time around. Because I really need that bottom line. Maybe that would be the ingredient of winning. If I were not doing this live without that, that tight, that pause would have been automatically deleted and would jump through when, to this stage because, you know, I was a piece of shit. Fuck this race track as far as this game. Uh, Cause I got the good momentum. Can I make it? Oh wow, William Byron's in the back. So I gotta take advantage of this. This could be a magic point save if I can get there. Oh hey, guess what? Look who's right where he belongs. Harrison Rhodes. I salute you. I'm glad you're right here in the back where you belong. How does that feel? The problem is Brendan Brown is in here. Oh look, Joey Logano finally had a great run. Joey Gates is in front of me. Oh, yeah, that's something. Joe, credit where credit is due. Joey Gates deserves this run, so I'm not going to bother him at all. Considering that Harrison Rhodes in the back, that little kid would not be this car being garbage at this time. Exit good at all. Still there, he's outside. Still three one. Yeah, and they, this game never run anywhere but the bottom. You hold the bottom. Always. Always, always, always hold the bottom. Much better exit that time. Good title running. Which another first time winner happened in that 42 car was Alex Bowman, so great for him. It's about time he gets an overdue win. He's been gone for a year as far as competitive points racing in NASCAR. He's been the test driver for him for that long. But my question is can we get some stage points? Because we're shaping up to get a great finish here as long as I don't mess up and get huge amount of points over William Byron. The one may look like these amount of points may not be much at the end. Brandon Jones in the Menards car. Nice. Well, that's, that would be practically coming off of Paul Menard Racing like 2, if I recall. Sliding the needle. So far, so good. I'm running really good, but I need to get by Brad Koslowski to get that great restart because that's the only reason why I moved up this high at this moment in the race. Let's do it. White flag in stage number two. Looks like I won't get any stage point, but at this moment, I think that's going to be okay. I think the bad news is Blake Cook is going to get all the points, and I'm going to be back to seven, so that's going to be a huge problem. No, Brett, I need that spot. Okay, I hate starting in the, on the high line. I want to start in the bottom. Looks like I will. Nope. I have to. I have to do what it takes. All right, go ahead. No, no. Damn it! I hate starting in the butt on the high line. Great, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. We're gonna be back in seventh now because of this. Ready. Steady. Ready. 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 
I got to slow down. Oh, I'm good. I back. Here we go. We're good now. We're good. We're good right now. Look, Joe Gaze. Joe Gaze wants a top 10 this bad man. Okay. I'm hoping for that finish, that stupid finishing glitch for Blake Cook or for Vladimir Reese. If I were to win here, which I won't, then I can somehow get Blake Cook disqualified or relegated down to the running order. All right, 18 laps. Can we survive? Can we make it that far? Last thing I need is cautions. That's one, of, that's one thing I'm going to say. That's the last thing I want is cautions. And there's Ty Dillon. I'm not even going to bother messing with him right now. Yes. He's not my concern right now. My concern is Blake Cook as Elliot Sellers off the pace. I'm thinking I'm going to take advantage of him falling back. I pass Blake Cook. That's good. Can we get by Ryan Reed? And Daniel Suarez. Oh, really, Ty? Oh, really? We're gonna, you're going to be you're gonna be an asshole about it. You're going to be an asshole because you cannot tell on the fact that the real Jesus lover, Morgan Shepard, is better than you. you. Get that and look what you've done. Look what you're going to do. I'm stuck in the middle. I'm stuck in the middle. It's not good. I'm going to let Eric Jones go by. This is a little, a little slipstream here. Oh, really, Brendan? Oh, you're going to play dirty just because you didn't make the playoffs in real life? Fine. I see how you go. You can kiss my ass. Look, 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 look what these ass wipes made me do. All I want is a clean race, and look what they're making me do. They're running. You can't run clean. They're just playing dirty. Just playing dirty. That's great. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to beat Blake Cook and nobody else. There's still 10 laps to go at this horrid track. I like Iowa, but in this game, I hate it. There's Harvick, great. Right? Not to worry, Blake. performance and either way I'm surprised I'm even this high in the standings at this moment but this is just garbage oh Harvick went low here comes Logano again I'm destroying my front end that's why I'm struggling to hang on but Harvick is not my concern right now he really is not my concern. My concern is Blake Cook, so I'm going to drop the seventh in the standings at this moment. A great low tone. They're going to get by me. There's that bum again who has no business to be in this playoff battle. Look at all these spots I'm giving up because I'm trying to battle and shut the fuck up with the whoa woes. Yeah, yeah, you deserve to give me what I give you just because I wanted the, bo the bottom line. This car is gone. It's dead. It, 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 it. Now that nobody's nearby me, I can actually run a good race. And get get sneak in the top 10. Get the hell out of here. And see how well I can do at the Glen. I should be okay, but it's a road course and the grass is gone. It's horrid. It's hey, if you hit the grass, you're done. You're done. It won't you won't it will not let you turn. It's like with Project Cars 2 at Daytona. You hit the wall in those stock cars, you're done. You're done. You're never you're, it's impossible to win in that track with those cars, even if you put it at zero difficulty. You have to run at least 150 left to even have a shot of winning and not hit the wall. How much how horrible I am at the corner is that they get a good run. I need a good I need to beat these pet. I need to beat Blood Cook by a good amount of spots. Oh, this is my best exit I've had in a long time, probably ever. Listen to that engine tone. Now 
not clear of him though. So I'm gonna drop the seven to the standings, that's for sure, because it's Blake Cook, that's the stage point. And I get in the bracket slots, get to add insult to injury. No caution. Good, I blocked him in case he came to one spot ahead. Can we get by Lagano or at least finish ninth? Not a good exit. Casey King is going to get the run. Can we hang on to this top 10 and at least beat Blake Cook by at least two spots? If I don't get 100 out of this race, I, this race, this race is a failure. Looks like I'm going to settle for a disappointing 10th finish. What the fuck, Casey Kane? You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. And I'm going to drop the seventh because of that as I barely beat Blake Cook. Good. I get 100. You idiot. Casey Kane, that's what you're going to be. And Brandon Poole won. Good for him. Oh, Blake Cook dropped the eight to see. Good. The stupid glitch helped me in this one. So that's awesome. And of course I dropped the fucking 7 because I'm a dumbass. That doesn't want to qualify. Here's the stupid running order. There's it Rhodes. No business in 15th. No business. Seaman Light's the last car winner. Let's get the hell out of here. We're going to have to find a way to be Blake Cook and hang. At least finish 6 in the regular season standings. Because that race was a bunch of bullshit. The fact that I finished 10th in Iowa was a miracle. I'm not, I can't say the same thing about Iowa uh, Watkins Glen. As we look at Dakota Armstrong's next her career gone dead. He's going to finish in the top 20 most likely. Bob is going to be just outside of it. He's still in the top 20 after all these races. He's still in that top 20. All in all, good day. Terrible points. Right? Terrible, terrible in the points. Why do I not qualify? Because it's just a waste of time. Qualifying is just a waste of time in my book. It also adds a little bit of a challenge, but it doesn't help when I put all three stages on. This is where I walk in Glen. Let's just see what happens. We've got to be Blake Cook. we just got to be Blake Cook. This track, I don't mind being at the bottom. What is this? What is this start? Look at this start. Look at this mess. Guys, two laps. Don't wreck anybody. And they don't hit that grass. Clear, clear. Thank goodness there's no gravel here, so I'm gonna be okay. I'm not, and just like that, we move up to 18. If we stop being assholes like Cole Custer, we might have a chance of winning. Oh, hit the grass. Just what I said not to do, I do. But we're inside the top 20 just like that. This may not be a bad race, but when we're talking about road courses, we just don't want to hit the grass. We just don't. We have... Oh, jeez, look, some, some people are brake checking. Get the rumble strips, that's fine. And just like that, we're in 14th. They gotta work on the road course though. If the AI was just putrid on that start. Oh. Wow. Then it then it overshot the corner. That's great. That's awesome. We're coming into the last lap already of stage number one. We're running at 13. Not bad. This is great. This is a good sign going forward. Just don't hit the grass. Or Daniel Hambrick, who's finally having a great run in this game. Oh, don't hit the grass here. We get some stage points, that's all I can ask. Very smoothly, I gotta be cautious at this track or any road course for that matter. 
Go to Arnsorg in the top ten. How about that? Let's see if I can beat William Byron though. He looks like he's not gonna get any stage points again. So this is great when we're talking about the this is great stuff for me to have any hope in the regular season as I punted him out of the way for 11. Not gonna get the stage points. Dakota Armstrong needs one anyway, so that's good. But I have a bad fishy feeling that Harrison Rhodes got it. And of course I can't beat the fucking game. That's just a pet peeve of mine. I wanna beat the, the guys to start finish, so. Yep, just like that. You gotta be kidding. Okay, I don't see Harrison Rhodes up there. I thought for a moment he was. Alright, here we go. Thank you to Cora Armstrong for giving me that lane, that that open lane. It goes choo choo kaboom. Orton Shepard coming to the front. Oh, I got in the Ryan Reed. No, that's actually a good thing that I got in the Ryan Reed. And hello, top five. We meet again. Don't hit, don't hit that part of the track even though there's a lot of, there's a guardrail in between, there's a guardrail on the track. I'm gonna stop hitting that. And look at the running order, there's Aaron Jones. Oh, careful, careful. I almost, I almost missed this, oh, also ignored the screen. A little tap, little love tap from Mordeshev, from, from me. You disturbed that one, Ty Dillon, for what you did to me in Iowa. Kind of killed all any momentum that I had. I only get Sadler. He's in front. Hello, Joey Logano. We need to get... Ooh! Hit the world... Hit the swivel strip. Ah, and I got in the Logano. I'm going to end up finishing in second to stage number two. Just, yep. All right. That's good. This is not bad. We gained two more po points over Ryan Reed. Link Cook is not a factor. I'm sure the Logano haters will love this video for what I did. Did not wanted to do that. I just hit the bro hit the curb, and guess what happened? What is this? Is this single file? Look at this restart. It's single file. Yeah, great. Six laps to go. Man, it's gonna be fun. Let's just let's we're gonna take the lead easily. Let's see how far we can pull away from this one. This may not be bad. Morgan Shepard may act. The streak will continue, it looks like. If we can hang on and not hit the grass. We'll put in some good, strong, single laps, and then we'll be fine. Mid Ohio is what I'm worried about, though. And then the next episode, is over running in Road America, so that's going to be the end. Put it in smoothly. Alright, excellent. Excellent, superb, incredible. This race is on fire. Oh wait, that's the wrong. That's, that's this is Auto Rocking Racing 94, and I'm playing NASCAR YouTube. 2 This is not Rock and Roll Racing. Whatever that, whatever that nonsense of a game is called. This is just amazing. Morgan Shepard is leading a road course. All right, five laps to go. Looks like I'm pretty much got this one beat. And I'm gonna get those five playoff points. Oh, this does be new. This does wonders. I said Watkins Glen. It's not. I don't think Watkins Glen. I'm gonna have a problem. It's like Mid Ohio Road America. Oh, here we go. This is where the problem begins. I say, goodness, there's no gravel trap no more at the Glen. It's been that way for a long time now. So thank you, Watkins Glen. Thank you, International Speedway Corporation, for they actually on the track for making that change. Because otherwise, I would have been done. Kind of hoping Ryan really loses spots. Is Elias Seller still right there? I have to be very, very cautious. If I want to, I could go all out. But if I go all out at this moment in the season, I'll wreck. So yeah, Formula One, speaking Formula One on ESPN, hate it. I hate it. I just do. It's just bare minimum crap. The fact that 
it's going to break up probably in my opinion the best more sports trio that they have had they've had in a long time since like Bob Jenkins and then Jerry and Betty Parsons and the fact that it means Steve Matchett, David Hobbs and Will Buxton are out of a job for this very moment most likely they are it's unfortunate I said I will talk about it while I'm playing project cards but that just kind of fell through because I got a lot of stuff to consume, really worry about like the TNN video which I got to figure out what I'm going to put a concrete time to work on it because I want to make this stand out. I don't want it to be just basic vanilla. Whereas like, this graphic is okay. This graphic is good. I like it. I like what to do. I want to go a little bit into detail and add some humor elements if I ever had a bone that is known as humor. And then Fox, the Fox Sports one, I'm going to have to do it immediately thereafter because thanks to the NFL and Fox Sports itself, they have new graphics, which means they're gonna they're gonna have new ones that they told us. I want to make one right away and just make mockery of what would it look like. And then after that, it's gonna be sporadic. I'm hoping if, if anything else, I want me to get every, all of them done by the end of the year, by the by 2018, at some point 2018. We'll just have to see how and find out because I'm not a committed YouTuber in terms of I want to, I make videos every day. I want to make videos every day. If I wanted to, I would have. I just do this for the sake of like, because I want to and say, oh, this is original. Nobody's done it yet. I want to do it. That's why I do the red flag videos. Because I'm curious of how many red flags there are in a season. It's so like for 2002. My goodness, there. I'm pretty sure that's the re that was the record till this till this year where we ha already have 14. I was hoping, I was thinking and kind of hoping for the video for the purpose of the video there have been more, but the rate withheld and Truex went again. Like 2002, there was a lot of red flags. But they, in 2004, there were 12 total, but there were nine, and in, in nine of them were in the were by points paid races, and then three of them were in the exhibition, with two of them being in the All Star uh, the All Star Weekend, which was the opening wreck of the Nextel Open, and then the big wreck of the All Star Challenge, where Kurt Busch got in the Grand Biffle. And then, like 2000, the last video I made, weather. Mother Nature just hated 2000, kind of like the tone of 2000, just sombrous. And then when I was making the video, I was like, oh my goodness, finally, oh, 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 don't blow it. Jeez, I almost had a Marcus Zambros Montreal moment. Then when I was putting it together, I was like, oh my goodness, there's actually a wreck that caused a red flag for once. And it was at the freaking louder race where Jeff Burton led every single lap, which Truex was the Truex has been the closest to do it last year at the Coke 600. As far as go, I think we're going to see a red lead every single lap. I don't think so, but without but considering there's no there's no bonus points for leading laps no more, I think that could happen someday. But the crazy nature of stage races that's going to make it extraordinarily hard going forward. It looks like I'm probably not going to gain enough points on Ryan Reed, but. I certainly will get a lot of points over Blake Cook and William Byron. So this is going to be a great point that that's probably going to be all for not going to Mid-Ohio. As so we're coming to the white flag, win number seven looks promising here at the Glen. I fall tracks I'm going to win on a road course. You know, this road course is easy compared to others. But considering this game, this is a huge win. Alright, much better this time. But then blow it worse uh, didn't blow it like the Dallas top was losing to the Green Bay Packers Oakland let me tell you about the Raiders it's just been horrible all of a sudden I had Oakland Seattle Super Bowl now it looks like it's gonna be the freaking Kansas City Chiefs don't give me okay I'm gonna make this clear I'm gonna make this clear excuse me with my NFL I'm gonna make this very clear Kansas beating New England is not a mega upset. It's not. And after after five weeks, they're five and zero. They're only undefeated team left. They're 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 the real deal. I said Kansas made it. They were a playoff team. They were a playoff team last year. But I said so. That's not a surprise. If, 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 if there's one team that, that would not surprise me that New England lost to is Kansas, because I see Kansas and they have everything together. They're going to be good. And look at Alex Smith. I said it from the moment they got rid of him in San Francisco. If we, whoever is going to Kansas is going to do a one, he said, guess what? 
It, it has Sussbar and so will Morgan Shepard for the seventh time this season. He's going to victory lane at Watkins Glen International. And what the fuck? Why do I get a 96? Jeez. This fucking game, I'm telling you. What do I have to go all out and hit the wall and die to get 100? Bullshit. And Ryan Reed finishes in fourth. William Byron, 13. Where's Blake Cook? Blake Cook, 31st. Guess what? New man in six. Big old Martian. Yes, we're going to end this episode at least six. And by at least six, we got to stay in six because... Mid Ohio is a monster, and Elliot Seller is the new points leader after all of that madness. Seven wins, 39 bonus points. Eric Jones has 20. He's my closest competitor in that battle. Look at this, Morgan Shepard. This is the dream year. Armageddon is not looking too bad right now. <laughs> uh, see, I jinxed my titles. So I started to put titles on these videos to make it a little bit stand out, so I'll get the few viewers that will actually watch my videos something to keep in mind. Morgan Shepard, road course king. Joey Logano got a fast lap. Yeah. We're number seven. We're pretty much going to be the number one seed, but we got to do a little bit more. And I'm a veteran now. I think you guys I ran 50 races, so yeah. Let's go and die in Middle Ohio. There's one corner of the track where I was just bad. I am um, just bad. That just uh, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. But if, after that performance, I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Much um, Road America is the one that I, that I struggled as far as hitting the grass and the gravel. And what I mean by bad, as far as like I'm there, like right there, winning the race in this kind of difficulty, and then I hit the gravel and I end up getting a whimper, uh, as in a top ten. So here we go, Mid Ohio. A lot of history of this track for IndyCar. These are guys like Joseph Newgarden won here. Charlie Kimball got his first one. That's where Chip Canessi fell down in disbelief because today he Kimball won a race. This is where Patrick Carpartier won, if I recall, when to recognize Greg Moore, his former teammate. All right. All right. Gotta be careful because. Yeah, I gotta be very careful of this corner, especially on restarts. We already got a dent before we even get to the start finish line. Ryan Reed in big time trouble. This could be huge playoff implications. As far as me getting a huge bonus, and, and maybe, and maybe we'll be in fifth if everything goes our way. I would love the corner cut and use that chicane, but it's not smart to do that. Oh, don't get it. Don't get it <laughs> Harrison Rhodes. Look at that grass. It looks like artificial grass. It looks like a, looks like a football grass. You know what? I'm done today. Today is a good day. We might, be, we might, we, I may be, I may be time for all of you viewers to actually play an extra race. You never know. Because I'm, yes, we're gonna be, we gotta get some stress relief out of some, some bad runs. So I gotta do something, you know. Okay, here we go. This is where I usually die. No, right here. Right here is where I usually somehow die and lose all track decision and any momentum of winning. So I gotta be very, 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 very careful. Alright, looks like I'm gonna make it out alright. But can we get some playoff points? Okay, this is huge. This is some huge stuff. Oh, Eric Jones. Not in play, not not in the top ten. Blake Cook, not in the top. He's not my concern right now. Oh, Logano goes off. I go to the Blake Cook. Everybody hangs on. Ten laps to go overall. One lap to go in stage number one. Oh, careful. Yeah, Blake Cook's gonna remind me he didn't appreciate that bump. But hey, Logano got in your way. So blame Logano. Ross Chastain finally in the top 10. About damn time. That's how it should have been to begin with, not Harrison Rhodes. Do I have any beef for Harrison Rhodes as a racer in real life? No, just in this game. 
is in this game. Just to make that very clear. It's like with Winval and Brian Scott. They go with, with Brian Scott, you know? Oh, got him to Koslowski. He goes way wide off the track. All right, stage points as possible. That's what happens when you're look when you're trying to be patient. You get results when you're patient. It's not the story of my life. I have to be patient and get results when you're done. My question is, can I get at least a stage point? It's been a while since I got a stage point. I think it was like Indianapolis that I got a stage point. I'm not sure. Oh boy, here we go, big time. Can I get by Ross? Sorry, Ross. I know you need those stage points, but I needed more. Oh! Oh! Yes! Top 10! Stage point! And I had to use the bumper. Just like, who, who used the bumper? Was it Tagliani who used the bumper? I can't remember. I know Regan Smith was not happy. I know Regan Smith was the victim. Somebody in the 22. Was it, was it Tagliani? I can't remember. I don't think it was taken. There was somebody. I wrote in the ring. I'm not sure. I'll figure that out later. Green flag is out of the way. Stage two. Two laps. The quest for fifth is still alive. And William Byron got a, a, another stage win, so that's not good. But we're right there, so. We're right there. There's Justin Allgaier. There's Elliot Satter. Here comes the JR Motorsport Sandwich. Oh, I'm not going to be too kind on him. William Byron saves it, though. Here comes Justin Allgaier. All right, this is where I got to go. Pedal to the metal. Got to use that slow shot. Got to use that turbo. From Indianapolis. From, not Indianapolis. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. That was Loudon. Got to use that Loudon turbo. Okay, I got to use this on board. Here we go. No. No! Get off the grass! Get! Are you kidding me? God fucking damn it! This fucking game is putrid. Fuck this game! I was not. I didn't do it on purpose. I went off. Now William Byron's gonna get another stage point. This is putrid. Fuck this! I hate this grass in this game. And it's gonna punish me for it. Holy, we're at Armageddon, but we're still in the top 10. And we're still on the opening lap. The Bubba Wallace can just get the fuck out of my way, Bubba. Fuck up my TV, Bubba. Oh, cars are off. This might be a huge, and I just choked it. Bubba's around. Stage two days is over. I'm gonna get eight. So I'm gonna use this armor from here on out. Ed Ross just got his stage point. That's good. Good for him. But as far as the grand scheme things, as far as being in the top five in points, this has not been bad. But it does not help that William Byron keeps getting those points. You know? So let's make it out of here alive because this is this is where it could be over in a heartbeat. With spot laps to go. Tipped. Oh, excuse my voice, Greg. Matt Tipped, but with the run of his career. Good to see you up here, Matt Tiff. Good to see you here. Because it's about damn time you finally get a good run in this game. Man, sorry, William, since NASCAR loves to, loves to, NASCAR loves you so much that they gave me a penalty when I'm trying to do whatever I can to not cut the corner. We're going to get wrecked. Get wrecked. Sorry, William. I appreciate you're going to be in the 24, but not today. Shot new style. And the crowd roars because, you know, it's okay for Morgan to do it, but not with Jock Villeneuve does it. All right. Nobody's pitting, so we're going to overtime, right? No, we're not. All right. We're in front. Can we hold on to it? William Byron drops the six, so... What else is new? Two to go. We're not in overtime, so this is it. Can we hang on? We gotta play like a little puppy. Not going to grass. Go as run as tediously slow as possible. 
where I don't go full throttle and mess it up. Even if I have to break early, I have I'll do it. And give it give it to this game, William Byron's deserved it. This that tap was for nothing. So I expect to get wrecked the moment. But good for Matt Tap, it's about damn time in this game's concerned. He has a great run. Alright, here we go. Slow it down here. Back it down. Look how slow I have to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go again. Get it off. Slow down. There we go. So as long as I slow down, I can turn it. And this is going to be the slowest last lap, the longest last lap in mid-Ohio history. And this is not even a few mileless race, this is just only 13% under level difficulty for crying out loud. Easy. Here comes Byron, he's gonna take me on and he's gonna do something about it. Alright, we made it out of this lap barely alive. Can we hang on and win this race? Here we go, white flag. One lap to go. Can Morgan Shepard get back-to-back -back wins? Eighth win overall, and another one on a road course as Armageddon is looking like the promised land right now. Yeah, Byron's in second, so this is not a good point state regarding catching Byron. This is a great point state for me, as far as me being ahead of Blake Cook and Ryan Reed, and maybe Aaron Jones. So there's still some hope of getting a B to be inside the top five minutes before the regular season's over. And we can do that, that's great. All right, here we go. Can we make it out of this corner alive? Slow down. Use the brakes. If I get a low rating out of this, I'll be disappointed, but I'll get wide because this track is just no joke. This track is no joke when it comes to the ground. Look how flat the grass is. It's like gravel trap, but just with, co with green colorings on it. That's what it is. It's just, it's just a gravel that's just more safer. If you want to put it in that word. If you want to put it that way. Everything is going to be okay. Kumbaya, Morgan Shepard is just a few quarters away of capturing another win in his magic season that is known as Morgan Shepard Championship mode. Nobody had believed that this man in his 50th season in NASCAR would be this great. Even to me, I'm surprised that I've done well. Yeah, I had to take Byron out of the way to do it, but a win is a win for Morgan Shepard. This is anything but Armageddon right now, except for like that little moment where I went, fuck, fuck this rating, you know, you know what I mean? I never, this game just finds ways to not make me satisfied. And William Byron gets four, so game, I appreciate that. No business Harrison Rhodes in 17. What a failure. Where did, where did Ryan Reed finish? Let's see, okay, good. 24th. And just like that, we are in fifth in the point standing. Somehow, some way, we're fifth. And Elliot Saller is the championship leader by 100, 112 points, and he has no wins to his name. Oh, it feels refreshing to know how far I'm behind, but without looking at the damn menu afterwards. So, let's see. Morgan Shepard in victory lane. So it'd be like, you gotta think, good lord. I apologize. I didn't want to do. I didn't want to punk out William Byron, but I had to do whatever it takes after NASCAR rigged it for him to win stage two because I went off the track and they consider it as corner cutting. So that's up to them. But we're coming for that championship. Justin Allgaier with the fastest lap of the race. I already showed you the results, so there's no need to show it again. But William Byron got fourth instead of second because you know this game loves favoring and unfavoring others so Armageddon is here part two here's what the schedule will look like with five races remaining in the regular season wild card and then Darlington a mega wild card and after that's just Richmond Chicago and Kentucky so I should be okay at Richmond oh should be down near Chicago at Kai Town and in Kentucky's a wild card but boy I'm surprised that I actually won those races I'm actually am yeah. Maybe I'm done. Or maybe I should bump it up to 105 to see how well I can do without trying to wreck people. Because patience really helped me in this one. So here you go. Here's your top your top 10. 
Brandon Jones drops to 12. He has a good gap over Brandon Poole, but Brandon Poole got that win, so therefore Harvick is in, is in 12. Harrison Rhodes in 17. We failed that objective. We got on the 23rd. Brandon Brown has no business in 26. Matt Tiff should be much higher. Daniel Hammer should be much higher. Ty Majeski should be a little bit more higher. And after all that, looks like Carl Long might be your last car winner for now. He'll be your last car champion. Oh, playoffs. There you go. Gavin Harvick in 12th. He holds that spot right now in pretty good margin as well. So, anything can happen. And for whatever reason, Brandon Jones appears twice on the needs wins list. Why? Well, I don't know. This game is Glitch City. So, I will do I will do a race to end this video. Trucks, because I already done Xfinity Cup two videos ago, so let's go pick Let's go pick Harrison Rhodes. I mean, not Harrison Rhodes. Ben Rhodes, their winner at Las Vegas. And... Talladega? Yeah, let's do Talladega because I want to mention something about... I want to mention something real quick. I want to mention something real quick. So here is what I normally do. 97 is happen. I put stability help on because if you want to, if you want to see how stability is without it, go watch my Chris Buescher video at Daytona. Yeah, no flags, race only. So without further ado, do I want to go up? No, let's make it. Yeah, I want to make it difficult for myself. Let's bump it to a hundred. I want to talk about Talladega for a moment. Okay, I only got seven laps to do it. I'm gonna talk about Talladega. So I look. So I woke up this morning. First off, unfortunate news down in Napa. The unfortunate news of what's going on in Napa Valley in Sonoma. Hopefully that track does not become perished. Because if it does, that means I'm really relying that IndyCar adds Portland to the calendar. Why? Because that's the close. Sonoma is the closest Cup track. My closest overall track is Evergreen. That's for K and N, which is like 45 minutes from where I am, and then. As far as IndyCar, the closest one is Sonoma, but if they add Portland, that would be a huge bonus. So I definitely will make that trip to Portland. Yeah, it's a flat real quick, but I don't want it to be at the expense of Watkins Glen, though. I don't want it to be Watkins Glen to go. That's a great flag to tell we are the way here at Talladega. That's we're trying to put Ben Rhodes to victory lane. So hopefully that truck is going to be stabilized. Yep. I'm gonna get used to the stiffness of this truck because I've been running Xfinity mostly in this game because I'm doing the championship mode for a reason. So yeah, hopefully that's hopefully nothing bad happens because that's the second track that's impacted by the bad leg from Mother Nature or forward. Yeah, you know what I mean. The other one is Homestead. Homestead, which I don't know. Sorry, I'm going below the yellow line, but. There's no rule for it, so I guess it's fine. There's DJ Flint. Flint. DJ Flint. Not heard his music. So I'm helping Cole Force and get through the front somehow, in a way. But uh, Comic Costa Logic was saying no. I don't think you will appreciate the Ben Rose helping Cole Force. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'm playing Ben Rose anyways. I've been seeing a lot of those safe flight vans in my area too, so I like this paint scheme. There is Wendell Chavis, who had a tremendous, he had a really good finish at Las Vegas, Wendell Chavis. Great run for him. Then again, there was only 27 trucks and he get Trisha Lewis coming there, and then Johnny Sauter had a horrible race. There's Stuart Friesen. We had a great run in Loudoun. They got wrecked at Vegas. And we'll, we'll, not, I think I keep an eye on him at Talladega. I think he may be a winner. I think he may find a way to win. Anybody can win at Talladega. For fuck's sake, Mark Thompson could win at Talladega. If, it only if, they don't park it. One, because he's 66 years old. Two, he has to be a cup star since Pocono in 1992. And three, Michael Walter got a top 10 in that car. So it could happen. And also don't have a big wreck like he, because I said he's the Mike Skinner of Arca. Because he is. Look at his, he's had some of the worst hits possible in Arca. Michigan 95, Daytona he had full flips. He had a bad wreck in Atlanta. 
So hopefully that does not mean his next big rank is going to the fence. That would be not good. But the likelihood of him having a bad rank is impossible as the probability of Sebastian Vettel winning the championship in this race. So hopefully that does not happen. But yeah, I'm expecting two red flags in this race. Just because. It's not the last round of the play of the round of 12 like it's been in the previous three years. It's in the second one. Kansas is the close is the final round because they don't want to have a shit show anymore. Like what well, happened with Kevin Harvick in 2015. Don't mess with Texas. Unless you're the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers, then yeah. Just a plain text. You know, don't mess with text. Just a little plain subtle text. Oh look, the bum Tony Coughlin. I'm not working with him. I'm not gonna help him. Joe Nemechek is in the top ten. 2000 Winston 500 Pulsar. He's not known for that, by the way. For those who are young enough, for those who are old enough to remember Joe Nemechek when he was in the when he was. Good and it, 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 that could win races at any moment. Yeah, I think Austin will win himself. I got your message. Don't mess. I will not mess with you because you almost took me out. But right, we gotta make our move now. We gotta make our move right now. And get to that Joe Nemechek is not gonna get a top ten. All right, here we go. Crunch time. I'm not getting the graph that I want. I'm gonna put this camera back for a moment so I don't get hit. Alright, we're back in line, so here we go. Let's see if we have any shot of winning because I've made and this is the point of these bonus races. I do run shorter races to make it a little bit difficult to work from the last to first. Last to first, excuse me. Two to go. If you just joined us, both of check. Jonah, this is the bonus race that I normally do and every every time I've done with three races of bonus championships as well, a stress relief. Somehow I got a top ten in Iowa and somehow more importantly won four bonus course races I entered into this video having no optimism of winning. No optimism. Somehow I won. I, unfortunately I have to be an expensive winner of Byron. Alright, now we're up there. John Hunter Lee Michelle. Todd Gilliland, Brad Amfigur, the defending winner of the race, by the way. Oh boy, I'm getting a great run here. But I need to be on the bottom uh, a sooner than later because the, the bottom line is vital in this game than any other NASCAR game that I can think of. Here we go, white flag. Noah Gregson, the Winchester, Winchester 400 winner. He's looking for his first truck series win this week at Talladega. And that'd be an homage that him winning the, one of the biggest Midwest races in America helped him to win. As you see the John Nemechek contention decal on John Hunter's truck. Oh boy, it's going to be bad. Looks like JBL, Dalcon, Toyota, Christopher Bale is going to win the race, Michael. Can we hang on with a top five and beat Noah Gregson? Oh boy. If it was real life, we'd be wrecking. Those sparks. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even hitting them with sparks. I'm going to cross the line, barely hanging on for Ford. It's going to be a battle for a photo finish for Ford, and I get it. John Hunter Nemechek fell just short. Christopher Bell wins. 99 for Talladega, not too bad. And yeah. I'm surprised I actually did good in this episode. Fastest lap race. So yeah. I feel like this video went faster. I don't know why. Maybe because I actually ran patiently and it wasn't a stress. Stressful enough. So yeah, quick race. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to. I don't know. What I'll do. But yeah, I don't know what I would do with the title. I'll probably just keep it and see. And just so the viewers who watch it later understand why I call it Armageddon but yeah so without further ado until this has been the latest adventure of Morgan Shepard championship mode so until we meet again this has been Auto Rocket Racing 34 and until the next video I'll catch you later